Japanese. This guy knows Japanese. Hi. Yay! Konnichiwa! My room's a bit messy right now. I'm just using two bits for myself. Let's clean up and go to Ecuador. I need to smell nice. So many people trying to cross to Ecuador, trying to find like the gringo line. I've heard there is a line, but with my Spanish it's so hard to find. Uh, I found the right line. It's about like 50 people in front of me. Eh, maybe like an hour max. Finally in! Look, look at that line. Exactly an hour. Okay, I'm through immigration. And that's Ecuador. And we are in Otavalo! I'm gonna clam that tomorrow. We're at a puncho market. They're trying out ponchos. I want one too, but I don't have space in my bag, so I'm looking for actually a small case for my hard drive. That's the agenda for now. But it's closing, everything's closing right now, so. I need to hurry up. Anyway, B-roll. Choto. Choto. Choto is like a little bit. This guy knows Japanese. Yay! <laughs> I like this guy so much. He lived in Japan for three years in Nagoya. How crazy is that? I just met a Japanese. Oh, he's not Japanese actually. But a good guy who lived in Japan. And it really it occurred to me that it doesn't matter where you are, whether it's a dangerous city, a glamorous city, a safe city, New York, San Francisco, Tokyo, it's all about who you meet. And I met that guy and it just made like an instant connection and had so much fun just talking to them, communicating. And these guys too, uh, Max and Maria. Uh, I've been traveling with them for like five days now. And it's just who I meet is like so important to me. And this trip is all about who I can meet in the future and who I met in the past. That creates my journey. And today has been such a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Ciao.